Do you realize what this is? It's like catching rockets with chopsticks, an idea that distinguishes SpaceX from the rest. But wait, take a closer look. It wasn't Starship and its catching system in the image. This is actually from China, a country that has replicated SpaceX's system numerous times. Faced with this imitative strategy, SpaceX often chooses silence, but not this time. Enter Elon Musk, SpaceX's founder, who has officially responded. So, how did Elon react? How will the battle between creators and imitators unfold? Join us today on another thrilling episode of Great SpaceX. In recent years, China has emerged as a formidable competitor to the US across various fronts in the aerospace industry. One of their strategies, albeit somewhat controversial, involves replicating ideas from industry leaders. Currently, SpaceX, the world's premier aerospace company, finds itself most frequently imitated by China. Following several copied prototypes, China has once again surprised both SpaceX and the world with a new imitation, catching rockets with chopsticks, a feat even SpaceX hasn't achieved with Starship. Recently, images simulating this process has surfaced on X. This effort comes from Cosmoleap, a startup founded just this year. Yep, you heard that right. They were established only a few months ago. Through these images, we can clearly trace their development roadmap. Let's first examine their rocket catching system. It's strikingly similar to the one SpaceX is building for Starship. The launch tower stands tall on a sturdy steel structure, reaching an expected height of about 150 meters. At the top of the tower, a system of two robust steel arms, dubbed chopstick or mechazilla arms, is mounted. These arms are designed to move vertically, facilitating tasks such as lifting, stacking, unstacking, and even catching rockets. At first glance, one might mistake this for SpaceX's system. Musk himself reacted to the image with a tweet saying, Look familiar. What's your take on Elon Musk's response? If you agree, drop a yes in the comments to share your thoughts. Also, don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on SpaceX's exciting journey. This scenario feels familiar because it's an idea SpaceX has long pursued and previously unveiled. Currently, SpaceX operates two tower systems, one in Starbase, Texas, and another in Florida. Additionally, they are in the process of constructing a new tower system at Starbase, slated for operational use later this year. Moreover, SpaceX is gearing up for a rocket recovery initiative using the Megazilla arm this year, beginning with attempts to catch Super Heavy on its upcoming flight. This swift imitation by the Chinese company underscores their tendency to replicate without necessarily grasping the underlying principles of the system, evident from their haste to emulate SpaceX's technology even before its successful demonstration. In the image recently revealed, Cosmo Leap isn't just mimicking SpaceX's rocket-catching tower system, they're also replicating SpaceX's launch vehicle. Take another look. Do their rockets seem familiar to you? It appears to be a blend of Falcon 9 and Starship. Notice the white rocket booster in the picture, seemingly crafted from carbon fiber akin to Falcon 9. It sports net fins near the top for guiding the rocket. Below, nine engines are arranged in an octagonal pattern reminiscent of Falcon 9. What sets it apart, resembling Starship, is the absence of landing legs, a design conducive to caching methods and other systems like the OLM, or Orbital Launch Mount. This amalgamation is intriguing. I'm particularly curious about its second stage and their plans for deploying mega internet satellite constellations with this rocket. Could this be another imitation? Let's wait and see. Beyond Cosmo Leap, a broader look reveals several SpaceX concepts surfacing in this country's aerospace industry. Last year, CAS Space introduced a vehicle strikingly reminiscent of SpaceX's and Blue Origin's innovations. Its booster resembles New Shepard's, while the capsule mirrors Dragon in color, design, and overall appearance. Similarly, Space Epoch has been testing a rocket model closely resembling Starship in both shape and size ratio. The stainless steel construction, synonymous with Starship, is immediately apparent, although the design remains rudimentary compared to SpaceX's advanced prototype. Land Space made headlines last year with their Zhushui rocket, a pioneering venture in China's use of liquid methane as a rocket fuel, a hallmark innovation also adopted by SpaceX for Starship. Recently, another rocket making waves is space pioneers Tianlong. The Tianlong-3, which recently encountered a static fire test failure, stands 71 meters tall with a diameter of 3.8 meters and a weight between 500 to 600 tons, stats comparable to Falcon 9. 
Like the Falcon 9, it features nine booster engines and a second stage vacuum engine fueled by liquid oxygen and kerosene. Its liftoff thrust of 770 tons or 1.7 million pounds matches that of Falcon 9. Additionally, it boasts landing legs, a fairing, and grid fins akin to Falcon 9. It's not just private companies. Government agencies like the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, or CASC, also have adopted SpaceX technology for their Long March 9 rocket. Unlike its expendable predecessors, Long March 9 is designed as a reusable heavy lift rocket. The roadmap for Long March 9 envisions a final version similar to Starship, featuring two stages, a first stage reminiscent of Super Heavy and a second stage mirroring Starship complete with distinctive flaps. However, despite these imitations, China still struggles to match SpaceX's prowess as the complexities of rocket development remain a significant challenge. This was evident in the recent incident involving Space Pioneer's Tianlong-3 rocket. During a static fire test, the rocket's booster unexpectedly lifted off from the launch pad, then plummeted back, resulting in a massive explosion. Thankfully, there were no casualties reported. However, this incident highlights significant issues in China's rocket development process. Primarily, it appears that they are merely copying technology without fully comprehending its intricacies. The failure during the static fire test suggests inadequate control over engine power or insufficient preparation with the testing system. Fundamental aspects crucial for rocket development. Their initial success with the launch of Tianlong-2 in 2023 Marking them as the first private Chinese company to reach orbit seemed to inflate their confidence in their ability to replicate technology, leading to an underestimation of challenges. However, their approach to copying lacks a sustainable long-term roadmap as they persist in testing and launching on land, a practice that poses risks to both people and property. China has a history of rocket failures which have posed significant risks to its populace. Yet despite these challenges, it's important to recognize that some of their imitation attempts have yielded positive outcomes. Landspace, through its Zhuchui rocket, exemplifies persistence and progress. Despite setbacks with Zhuchui 1 in 2018 and Zhuchui 2 in 2022, they achieved a significant milestone with a successful launch of Zhuchui 2 in July of 2023, the first methane rocket to reach orbit. By December of 2023, they further validated their capability by successfully launching and deploying a payload into orbit with the same rocket. These achievements underscore why SpaceX must not underestimate their competitor and the strategy they employ. Looking ahead, SpaceX faces two critical objectives. Firstly, they must complete construction of the new launch tower at Starbase. This milestone will propel the Starship project into a new era, enabling continuous rocket launches and full recoveries, a distinguishing factor from competitors including China, who aim to emulate their success. Construction of the new towers is progressing rapidly. The tower base has been completed and the segments are nearly finished, set for stacking to begin this month. If all goes according to plan, it could be operational by the year's end. Another critical milestone is catching attempts starting from Flight 5, scheduled for late this month or early next. Their second goal is to catch the Super Heavy during this flight. By Flight 6, they aim to recover and reduce all stages of the Starship for the first time, marking a historic achievement in rocketry. Once SpaceX accomplishes this, it will overshadow all of China's copying efforts, notably those of Cosmo Leap. The competition between two contrasting paths of development promises to be compelling. China pursues an aggressive strategy of comprehensive copying, challenging established giants at every turn. However, I firmly believe that creativity and innovation are the cornerstones of long-term success for any organization. SpaceX exemplifies this philosophy, a company led by talented engineers, consistently pioneering new ideas in the aerospace industry. This successful formula has kept them at the forefront of aerospace innovation, and it will continue to do so for the years to come. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.